We're at one of the coolest places on earth to fish and right behind us is why. We're at Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan on the St. Mary's River system and there's ocean going vessels literally running the river channel right next to you. And at times, especially in the summer, you can actually fish directly next to them. I'm up here with good friend Dave Atkinson, owner of Wild Bill's Bait and Tackle and Hotel up here. And this is a location that I've fished many times, but I've never fished at this time of year. We're late fall. And we're gonna be, yeah, cold. <laughs> and we're gonna be focusing on bays off of the river system. So a little bit different techniques than what I'm used to, but you catch some nice fish up here this time of year. You've been telling me about this for years. You know what, I took them up on it. We're gonna go troll some big crankbaits and try to catch some big walleyes. And we're gonna show you the next bite. The beautiful Sault Ste. Marie fish right there, huh? The last time we saw Chase Parsons on the St. Mary's River system outside of fishing professional walleye tournaments was when he and his father, Hall of Famer Gary Parsons, were testing slow death hooks and found themselves swallowed up in a fast-paced numbers bite. They're just coming in hand over fist now. <laughs> Even have any rods down anymore? Um, I think one. <laughs> However, this time out, he's with Last Resort and Wild Bill's tackle shop owner and previous professional walleye trail angler, Dave Atkinson, and they are looking specifically to target big walleyes. Unbelievable. <laughs> by trolling crankbaits, but obviously there is a lot of water to cover, and this type of bite isn't centered around high volume. It's not ever, never a fast and furious bite. We'll get them. So in a river system large enough to boast ocean freighter traffic, knowing what to look for structurally speaking for these big fall walleyes is key. We're fishing a pretty typical fall location, basically a shallow bay off of the St. Mary's River system here. And this bay has some characteristics that you want to look for in search of fall walleyes. It has some spoil rock piles that actually come up to about five feet, a lot of vegetation still. We're dealing with about 50 degree water temps, so it's not real cold yet, but that structure, that vegetation, those high weeds and those spoil piles are all over the bay. And it's a big bay, so what we've done is actually use open water fishing mentality and using your GPS to help you out to show you where the active fish are. When we first came out, we actually kind of trolled around endlessly because the whole bay is identical. And when we got that first bite, what we did is we dropped the waypoint on our GPS and stayed in that area and found that for whatever reason, it was that spoil pile or, or that certain type of weed growth in that small area that the fish became active. So we actually found that we dropped two, three, four more waypoints very close to that, found the active fish. And if you're fishing in situations like this where there's a vast body of water and everything's very similar, make sure you're dropping waypoints, make sure you're keeping that GPS in mind and it's gonna help you catch a lot more fish. Yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> we're on that, we we're turning at it, and you couldn't really tell. You could see the board start bobbing. Oh, it's definitely a fish. <laughs> it was tough to tell at first there, Dave, because we were making this turn here, but it looks like a pretty decent one, yeah, too. Yeah, there's no doubt now. <laughs> yep, I like how this board's coming in here. Nice tight line there. Oh. Just about ready with the net. This is your first time? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, he's fighting. He's feisty. Fighting just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, this one had a little bit of fight to him at the end, huh? That's a pretty fish. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm going in the danger zone here with all these trebles. <laughs> I don't think he was going to miss that one. No, no, he definitely wasn't going to get off, but just. Solid fish, beautiful fish, just pretty. <laughs> Even putting a fin up for you nice. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a... He's a poser. He's a poser. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, you're telling me about this bite actually the last few years and you're like, hey, we get some pretty nice fish up here in the fall, so take advantage and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you can fight the weather, it's well worth it. <laughs> I would say. This one is ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still have lots of gusto. Uh, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> hey, tell you what, you gotta pay attention to the boards because all these weeds, but sometimes when that board's bobbing, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Welcome to the UP. <laughs> the next bite is presented by Mercury. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Tracker boats, fish the finest. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Berkeley.
catch more fish. And Motor Guide, never stop.